My name is Samantha, and this is my husband, Adam. While I'm a nurse by trade, Adam stock trades, but we always make time for travel, good eats, and thrifting for profit. We hope you enjoy coming along for the ride. So I've been shopping at my local West Boca Goodwill for a long time and just finding out that not too far away on the east side of Boca, there is a Goodwill and we are gonna go check that out. Today is 50% off of all houseware items for all Goodwill Gold members. Here we go guys, I'm so excited. I think everything is 50% off of home goods for members. I am a member, so here we go. Woo! I really love this owl. I recently sold a vintage German Shepherd ceramic um, sculpture such as this one. It literally feels just like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up and see if I can resell that. This is a Ray Dunn piece. There seems to be quite a bit of Ray Dunn at Goodwill's. I'm not sure how they all end up there. There are some shoes up front and what I understand is the designer, the higher end shoes, they keep up front and then all the way in the back, there are more shoes. Going right into the hard goods here, checking out some vintage mini plates. Lots and lots of plates and platters. This is a smaller Goodwill, but it's really awesome. This is an interesting Russian piece. Pick that up. Lots and lots of plates. Fine China, Christmas, hard goods. This is a Lord and Taylor piece. It's a trivet. I am obsessed with trivets, but it is a little worse for wear, so I just won't pick this up this time. I've seen these ice cream bowls before. Love the pastel colors. Great for upcoming Easter. Lots and lots of plates. Ooh, this is an interesting mug, is it? It says 2018 underneath, but look at the handle. You can grab it this way. You could tuck your fingers in the other way also, but this is a very interesting piece. I love the drip glaze at the top. It almost reminds me of a you know the ocean i'm gonna go ahead and pick that up i'm always looking for americana home decor uh, or hard goods that was really pretty but unfortunately it's a modern piece and mass produced so i let that go taking a look around let's make our way around This is a single pottery um, cup. I like to find things in pairs, so I don't pick up single cups unless they're mugs. Just looking at their glassware. This is cool. This is a double um, spoon rest or utensil rest. Usually you see just the one spoon rest. cobalt blue vase oh look at these martini glasses those are nice I think they're meant to look kind of vintage they didn't have much weight to them so I let them go oh I like these blue jars 
if they were sort of see-through, I think I would have picked them up. Another reason I am not going to be picking this up is the top is hard to put back on. I don't want any of my customers being frustrated with their items. Pretty. Oh, this is this is cool. This is Star Wars kind of merchandise. That's um, General Akbar. <laughs> Seems like there's another plate in it that looks like a jewelry, maybe a trinket dish, but I don't want to take the saran wrap off to see it. So <laughs> see what's in there. So I left that behind. I love ruby red glass. It reminds me of Anchor Hawking ruby red rippled um, mini glasses. So I always pick up anything that looks like ruby red glass. Look at this piece. This is really just too fragile to ship. It's a hand blown piece. It is so thin. The glass is so thin. It looks like an angel. So I'm going to leave that alone because I don't really want to ship that. <laughs> These black vases are real neat. One shorter than the other. Nice hand painted vase. I liked the clarity of this, but I don't think it's vintage. I liked how clear the glass was and the flowers imprinted on there was just really pretty. I always make sure I look at the top, top shelves. You never know what's lurking. Like this beautiful Mikasa crystal vase. And look down below as well. You guys, this has got to be like a big Ray Dunn collection. Someone's Ray Dunn collection. Sleepy, Chow, Bonjour. I did look them all up on eBay and they're just not selling well, so I left all those Ray Dunn mugs right on the shelf. This is a vintage plastic puff holder. I've seen these before. They have a mirror in them. This is very interesting. Brahms by Wachtersbach. I don't end up picking it up. These kind of metal baskets, you always want to pick them up because you just never know when you're going to find a fully sterling silver one. So that does happen. I have never found one yet, but I do know other thrifters that have. Just want to pick them up and just kind of feel their weight. Going down the aisle, lots of um, to-go cups, mugs. Baskets, wire baskets. Just looking up on the shelves above the clothing racks. And yes, I am thrifting for belts, which is kind of new for me, right? But yeah, like I've mentioned in other videos, I'm trying to uh, open up my Poshmark because I have, I have a lot of items that I could put up for sale. Um, this is a nice belt, like it. I'm gonna pop it in here, even though it's quite small. It could be for kids, I'm, I wasn't really sure. Oh, I like this cork style belt. It's a Ralph Lauren belt, poly size small. It's in very good shape, so I'll take it. This is very popular right now. Fabric belts with studs on them. I would say they've always kind of been popular. They were popular when I went to high school as well. But for $6.99, I do choose to leave this belt behind. Now you know how much I love the Florida Lee since it's on my flag, since I'm from Quebec, Canada. 
Um, these were napkin ring holders. I am having trouble selling a couple of napkin ring holder sets on my eBay, so until I get those sold, I won't be actually purchasing any for resale. Making my way around the tie and belt rack, and there's a Gryffindor tie. And you would think that would be worth a whole lot, but actually they're being sold in abundance on eBay, so I do leave that behind. This is a plastic belt. It felt very cheap. I do not want to take that home. Pretty boho kind of belt. Those are for overalls. Oh, this is a an Abercrombie and Fitch piece for $9.99. And I think I might pick this up. Very beautiful. Oh, but underneath it looks not not so great. Not so great condition. Yeah, for $9.99, I'm gonna leave that behind. More fabric belts. I'm just kind of making a mess. I'm gonna have to pick up all these belts once I'm done. I'm dropping things. Oh, there goes another one. Ben Sherman belts sell for pretty, um, pretty. They sell pretty well, but there was a big old gash in that belt, so I just left it. This is a pretty braided belt. I'm looking at items again. Not sure what that was. Wine without the cheese is like a hug without the squeeze. Ooh, wooden coaster holders. That kind of looks like a duck, but it's, oh, it's a goose. Hmm, $5.99, so it really would be like $3 with a discount. Yeah, I'm gonna pop that in my basket. This is really pretty. This is a Bombay jewelry box. Bombay is a very well-known company. Um, $15.99 though, I might just pass. I think it would have been half of that, but still would be too much for me to resell. Okay, I like looking at the frames because you just never know what you're gonna get. Oh, there goes those dried flowers in between the glass. Again, I just love that, but I think it's missing its backing. So I can't, I cannot take this item. Is that a Mealy? That's a Mealy box. M-E-L-E -E and company box. There it is, Melly. Mealy, really is how you say it. That's wonderful. Hmm. Pretty jewelry box, beautiful wood. Mealy, you can count on Mealy to have great wood jewelry boxes. I will definitely pick that up. Making my way up front here. Oh, Versace. That was a Versace gift bag, like a gift for purchase bag. Pretty clutch, but it was broken. I'm looking around in the front. Let's see here. So many ceramic little sculptures. Even here at checkout, there's some really interesting items. This cat is soap or a candle. I'm pretty sure it's soap. Hmm. I like this, but it, I think it's a modern piece. Owl candle holder. Pretty made out of resin. And what is this piece? It looks very, very vintage. 
1999 quality product of Elpa Marketing Industries. All right, so, okay, let me just let you guys know that the Boca Goodwill, the new one that I've never been to before, I only bought these items. And then I was bad, I was gonna go and have my nails done, but on the way there, I remember that Goodwill was having this huge houseware sale for members. So I went to our local Goodwill in West Boca and look at this haul. And I'm going to show you it once I'm done with this East Boca one. Really, let's call it East Boca because it's on Federal Highway. So that's east of where I'm at. So I bought this hula pig. It's from 1990 by clay art it is definitely selling and it is in perfect condition this is brand new like nobody even opened it so i opened it and i looked in it it was bubble wrapped and it's so funny it's a platter these plates don't come off it's coconut bowls <laughs> coconut bra bowls and it's good for chips and dips and it says 12 by 15 and a quarter inch and you know you could put other things down here Next thing, this was in a box already. I love when things come in boxes already because they're ready to ship. And um, so I got this wooden coaster holder that obviously nobody has ever used before. Adam has a little bit of an obsession with ducks. So when I first saw this, I thought it was a duck wooden coaster holder. I didn't read that it was a goose wooden co coaster holder, but I actually like that a lot better. I think it's very classy. I took it out of the box so you could see what it looks like. Isn't that pretty? It stands like this and it's got four coasters. It's so, so pretty. And it was not $5.99. Uh, it was half of that because half off of housewares today. Okay, and I am starting up a Poshmark, I've decided, soon because I have a lot of items, lots of Lululemon things that I would like to sell of my own collection. This is definitely for a very tiny, wasted woman. So we're talking extra small. Um... It was $2.99, but I got 25% off. But look at it. I don't know what brand it is, but isn't it pretty? And that's such a great little belt. The hook is really great, too. Um, maybe I get something written here. I don't know. I'll have to investigate what brand this is, but it's got like a rope-like texture. It's very, very classy. Very cute. Then next, I found this other belt. It's kind of like a cork material and it was $2.99 but 25% off and I turned it around and it says man-made, made in China, but it is a Ralph Lauren belt. Lauren, Ralph Lauren belt. So I don't know how much that is worth, but I like the belt. So I bought it. Let's see what size that is. Um, I don't know, but it's obviously a small. It's obviously a small. Okay, so then the last thing I got at this East Boca thrift store, uh, Goodwill thrift store, was half off of $2.99. This trivet was about $1.50. You guys, this is hand-painted. This is really special. And in the back, it's got this very vintage, this kind of cardboard. Um, I want to say that it's Russian, I don't know what any of that means. So if any of you guys speak Russian, if that is Russian, I'm not sure if it is or not. Can you please tell me what this says? Can you please just pause the video and try to decipher this for me? Because I don't know what it says. And Berioska, maybe that's a store in Russia. I don't even know if it's Russian. I'm just getting, I think so. I'm getting Russian vibes from it, from the painting. It's very nice. Uh, you know, it's so vintage. The next thing I want to show you is this rattan wicker. Um, am I saying it right? Is it rattan? Rattan? Rattan. <laughs> rattan. Um, basket vase. I got it for half of $4.99. Um, and then there is this porcelain vase in there, I believe, to hold the um, plants or flowers. And this is just very unique. They do sell basket vases online, but nothing like this. This is in excellent conditions, obviously from the 60s or 70s, probably the 70s. I really love it. 
So next item. I saw a lot of things like this on my shop, <laughs> especially trivets, like old trivets, but it says country kitty. Look how cute. Um, I guess it can be used as a cutting board. I would not want to do that because it'll damage the beautiful kitty. You can hang it. I just like, I was telling Adam that if it said country cat, I don't think I would have bought it, but it's the fact that it's this nice plump kitty and it says country kitty and the paint is on really good, really, really good. And nothing like rare, no, no scratches on it. Not many at all. I think there's like one right there. That's it. Okay, next up, I got this beautiful muffin. It's a baked muffins or miniature omelets or whatever. Um, at first I thought it was that brand Temptations because you know what I mean, right? Or it could even be Pioneer Woman, but it's not. I believe that it is a vintage Polish stoneware. Very cool. I got it for half of $4.99. I have no idea how everybody walked right past this. They did not buy it. There's no chips on it or anything. It's an amazing piece. It's about five or six pounds. Not that, yeah, about five pounds. Um, wow, look at that, look at that. I just have to wash it and clean it. It's just gonna be amazing. Next up, I got this adorable snowman. Look at him. He is iridescent. He's got sparkles. He looks classy and happy. I got it for half of $2.99. This is really pretty. I think it's vintage because check the sticker out I could be wrong I have to do a little more research REM e something collection so KSA stands for Kingdom of Saudi Arabia so that's really cool very cool piece has some weight to it really like it e pure glass Next up, I couldn't help myself. I thought this was really nice, you know, even just, you know, to decorate our space area. But I only got it for $1.50. Uh, it says, I trust the next chapter because I know the author. They have such great things at thrift stores. This is so nice. So, yeah, got that perfect condition. It says vine and branches, designs, table decor, $14.99. It is a Hobby Lobby piece. So that's really cool. Next up, guys, look at this. In this baggie for $4.99. Nope, I got it for $2.50 because it was half of that. I got 16 small salt salt shakers, really, or salt and pepper. I don't know. They all have the same grate, but they're about two and a half inches tall. I have 16 of these. Isn't that awesome? You can sell them as sets or as a lot, but... They're really pretty awesome. Okay, look what I found. I know it's not Halloween, but it will be soon enough. And I found a planter, a jack-o'-lantern planter. But it is vintage. It is from Napco Wear Import, Sri Lanka. It's got a little number there, a little crazing going on at the bottom. But yeah, I got them for half of $2.99, so I got them for $1.50. I purchased this piece it's got uh, gold and um, white rope and it is a wall hanging and I know that it's hand painted from Portugal I it might be vintage maybe 90s vintage um, but it's funny because it says shot lunatic which means lunatic cat and I thought that was funny it's French um, but I just noticed when I got home, so I got it for $1.50, but I just noticed when I got home, there's a small chip in the back here, but I mean, it's barely noticeable from the outside, so I don't think it matters, but, um, yeah, so I thought that was really cute. I had a lunatic cat. <laughs> That's what makes them so charming. So I don't know. I, I picked this piece up. Then I got this pig. It says dream big. I don't think it's vintage, but I just love it. I like how the pink is like a true pig pink, you know, like that's really their color. And he's plump and adorable with flowers. This says dream big. It's a little bank. So banks sell pretty well for me. So I went ahead and bought it for 99 cents. I mean, I was going to, you know, I was going to pass then that up. I purchased these Hallmark pieces. Um, it says the naughty one and the nice one. 
And this one's a little dirty on the inside, but I had to pick it up because it is selling on eBay, you see? And so that's really, really a nice uh, stemless wine set. Okay, guys, I really love these. They're like poinsettia um, flowers. I got them for 99 cents each, and they are like stained glass candle holders. These kind of stained glass looking mosaic tile pieces sell really, really well for me. So I went ahead and purchased these two for half of 99 cents. So I paid like 50 cents for each one of these. Incredible. Okay, next up, guys, I cannot even, I just can't believe I found these goblets. I wish you could see them in person. They're ginormous. Look how my hand, you know, is fitting around and I don't have small hands. And these are called black, these are black and white Mille Fiori, um, which means a thousand flowers in Italian, Murano goblets. Murano glass embedded in the glass. And they were $4.99 each which means that I paid four dollars and 99 cents for both because it was half off half off day so I got two I can't believe I got a set of two I'm so shocked right now it's awesome they're so big they're perfect I checked them a million times for any chips and they have none beautiful next up I have this very rare vintage cat I, I i say rare because i really can't find it anywhere it's a persian cat then i found this mug because you know i can't help myself with the mugs it says hit me with your best pot i am a pat benatar fan i really like that it sounds like hit me with your best shot but hit me with your best pot and it says it on both sides it doesn't look like anyone's really used that just kind of sat in the cupboards for a little while i got two of these ghost mugs i couldn't stand it they're by spritz um target target piece i believe um the little bullseye there says target so i got it for a dollar fifty each i have two of these mugs they have no um they're they have no chip whatsoever they're gonna be perfect for halloween you guys i got this for a dollar fifty because he too did not have a um he didn't have a tag on him this is a very vintage Santa Claus. Might not look like much. There are no chips, but it is from 1982. Ron Gordon Designs, Korea. And he is in absolutely perfect condition. So happy with this purchase. $1.50. Also by the brand Spritz uh, for Target. I got this pumpkin, brown pumpkin um, mug. I believe I got two, four, six. I think I got six of them. Yeah, and they were only $1.50 each. That is so great. Target has really, really great houseware items. I'm very happy with this. I actually don't know why I bought these. They're by the brand Speckle. Um, I think I popped them in my cart and I forgot to take them out, <laughs> but that's okay. They're measuring cups and they're stoneware and they are pretty cool. They might be worth something. I only got it for uh, $2.50. They are not shipped whatsoever. They are pretty decent. Love them. Okay, next guys, I found these really beautiful Starbucks <coughs> mugs that obviously have never been used. Um... They are Starbucks. It's got this beautiful creamy color and the ripple effect here makes it look like um, the froth when they make their coffee. And it's got this beautiful chocolate glaze at the bottom. And I was lucky enough to find the other one on another shelf on the other side of the aisle <laughs> that I was in. So I found both. Oops, I'm going to break it before I get to sell it. Um, yeah, so I got both of them. They're, I'm going to try to hold them up so you can see them. They're really great. I got them for $2.99 um, for both because, remember, they were half off. It was half off housewares day. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like if you did and share. And please subscribe to our channel for more videos such as these. Thank you guys so much. Bye-bye.